Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Recon Stewart and today I am attempting to do an in-depth tutorial and review of the Iggy INS and CDU systems in the A10C modeled in Digital Combat Simulator. Uh, right now I'm on the 476 server in the NTTR map in Nevada. Uh, Vegas, I think. Yep, Vegas is right over there. And um, what I'd like to do today is try and do the very best and detailed uh, explanation and description of all the systems that are located within uh, the CDU here down on the right of my uh, console and uh, how to use it and all the functions it does. Some of them are modeled in the simulator, some of them are not, uh, but we'll look at all of them. Some of it may be pretty dry, pretty boring. Um, if it is, I'll try and warn you if you want to skip past it. But for me, I've always learned best when I knew there were six buttons on here. For instance, sys, nav, waypoint, offset, flight point management, well, and previous. Five buttons on here, and if I knew what every one of those did, I had a better understanding of everything, and I just learned a lot better. So that's kind of the approach that I'm going to take, is looking at each button and each function within the CDU today. And we'll probably break this up into a number of series so it's not too long and dry. But the, uh, the first thing that I want to do is show you how to get the CDU system started up. So I've already started part of the plane. Uh, I've got the batteries going, I've got the radios going, I've got the fuel pumps set, uh, I've got the inverter set, I've got the APU going. I don't know if you can, yep, right there, APU start is going. And I've got the APU gen power on. So the next step is to click on the CDU and the Iggy, which are right over here. And what you want to do is flip on CDU to on and flip on Iggy to on and you'll see the CDU uh, screen up here power up. Now later on we're going to go over all of these buttons but for right now I just want to get a handle on starting this bad boy up and setting the proper navigation. Uh, actually it's going to be the embedded GPU, I'm sorry GPS uh, INS system, the IGI, E-G-I. So let's go ahead and hit uh, CDU on and IGI on. And doesn't look like anything's happening, but you'll hear this startup bit test come on. And we'll have to wait through uh, some of this, and then it will start to automatically align. Let's see if I can get a better... That's a little better. And we're still going through our bit test. And while that's going, I'm going to start up my left engine. Okay, so you can see that it's got it's in a line mode right now, and you can see it's got IFCC not ready. Uh, position source is uh, auto, and it's in lat long. Um, initial position which uh, these are our lat long here and then we've got north 36 13 7, 7, 8, and west 1, 1, 5, 0, 1, 4, 6, 9. and then you can align in uh, either ground or in flight now ground is always the best and we'll go over this in more depth later ground is always the best as uh, you just maintain a uh, static position and uh, it will allow you to get the best, most accurate uh, positioning for GPS and INS uh, as opposed to doing an in-flight. Okay, um, I'm going to let this spool up. You can see our timer here, T equals 1.2.8.0. This is going to continue to count upwards to 4.0.0.8. When it reaches that point, we know we're aligned, and it should say... Uh, a flashing sign here saying that we are ready and aligned. So I'm going to continue to start up the rest of my bird and when this counter is all the way back up we'll come back and uh, we will go from there. 
Okay, and we're back, and you can see that on our CDU, we now have a count of 4.0.0.8, and it's now flashing INS nav ready. This means that our GPU, uh, excuse me, CDU IGI INS system is all aligned, and now we need to uh, place it from ground align into navigation mode by hitting this button over here and again I'll get into more of this in a bit but this is LSK right 3 so I'm gonna hit that button here and you're gonna see an asterisk appear next to nav and then I come up to the navigation mode select panel NMSP where I can pick HARS, IGI, TIZZLE, steer point anchor, tack and and ILS and these are my tack and needles you can see I uh, able them and stow them on my uh, ADI up here. So what I want to do is select Iggy to put myself in the embedded GPS INS navigation mode. So I've selected that. I've gone from HARS to Iggy. HARS is not as reliable as Iggy. And then, of course, I can select TACAN and ILS and all that stuff. But what I really want is just steer point. Uh, right now and Tizzle I don't believe is modeled alright so I've selected Iggy as my navigation mode and so let me get and I can also show you the CDU repeater page here on my right MFCD is the same data that's down here on the CDU so that you can view it more easily with a heads up uh, attitude uh, being able to see out the cockpit but it's the same information so with that, uh, I am going to get ready to get up into the air, and uh, when we come back, we will take a look at uh, the next phase of this CDU tutorial. We'll be right back. All right, everyone, we are back, and we are above Creech uh, in a 30-degree left-hand orbit at 12,000 feet. And we are going to start kind of going over all of the systems in the CDU, including the CDU itself, the AAP, and the upfront controller up here on our front dash, which, uh, as well as the CDU repeater over here, uh, which is uh, all kind of do the same thing, but different methods or ease of use. So the first thing let's do is let's uh, see if I can get a good view here. All right, so we are looking at the CDU and the AAP panel, which I will explain in a bit. Uh, and the A10C itself runs off the embedded GPS INS navigation system, often pronounced EGI or IGI, uh, and is, provides accurate worldwide navigation capability as well as attitude and steering information. There are two primary panels associated with the IGI, the control display unit, or the CDU right here, and the avionics auxiliary panel, or the AAP, which is right here. And then of course we also have the CDU repeater and the upfront controller, which we'll get to in a bit. IGI operations revolve around a set of waypoints and flight plans that are stored within the CDU. This waypoint and flight plan database is generally created beforehand in a mission editor planner, but can also be modified during a mission, which I will show you guys later. Uh, up to 2,077 waypoints can be stored in the waypoint database, and the waypoint database is divided into four parts. The uh, actual database itself, uh, flight plan waypoints, which can have numbers 0 through 40, um, and is, these waypoints are automatically loaded in the mission editor or again can be manually loaded uh, during flight using the CDU. Uh, assigned waypoint uh, mark points is the other part. Uh, you can assign waypoint letters A through Y for 25 total mark points. They leave out Z because Z is always used as your last place of weapons employment on the TAD. So uh, it's helpful to be able to know where you last used your weapons at. Mark points can be copied to the mission waypoint database using the waypoint page, which is here, which we'll get to in a bit, and modified as a new mission waypoint. And there are two types of mark points. There's an overhead mark point and an offset mark point. An overhead mark point can be set as you fly over an area 
and you just hit the mark point button which is right here uh, MK uh, or you can use your TGP to select a spot and create a mark point where the TGP is looking for an offset mark point. Uh, again, you only get 25 mark points, so if you use all 25 and then you create a 26th mark point, it will overwrite the first mark point you created, mark point A, alpha. And then the last part of the CDU is the flight plans. Um, the CDU can store up to 20 unique flight plans, up to 40 waypoints each. I've only used one in all of my DCSing, so I don't know that you need multiple ones, but it's certainly an option. And the flight plan only functions when the steer point rotary switch is in flight plan, which mine is currently. So as it relates to waypoints in the CDU uh, A10C, uh, each waypoint can have a series of information, bits of information. You can have a waypoint number, waypoint numbers 0 through 40, uh, or mark points A through Z. No two no waypoints can ever have the same number or letter. Uh, you can create waypoint identifier names, uh, maximum of 12 characters each. Uh, waypoint type is the type of waypoint it is, whether it's a turn waypoint, a final approach fix waypoint, uh, landing waypoint, takeoff waypoint. Uh, the waypoint's latitude, um, which is stored here in line 7. A waypoint longitude. Uh, waypoint MGRS coordinates. Uh, waypoint elevation. Uh, waypoint desired time of travel, if we have that set, but we do not. Uh, waypoint datum, which is uh, spheroid and grid data, which all coordinates are processed. WGS84 is always used. Waypoint steer mode, this can be set from to from, direct, to to, and you set those in the, motion, uh, in the mission editor. Uh, and then uh, waypoint vertical navigation mode, cycle between 2D and 3D vertical navigation modes, I believe used when you're setting up ILS waypoints and a waypoint scale to change, and we'll get into this later, um, the uh, scale in which you waypoints are measured. For instance, when you use your HSI and your ADI, uh, and certain dots will mean certain different um, measurements such as 500 feet to 250 feet or 2 nautical miles to 4 nautical miles and depending on the type of waypoint that you want to use uh, you would set that in the mission editor so that you have more precise data while doing ILS landings and we will get into this uh, more later. Uh, but that is uh, probably a good introduction to the CDU tutorial, uh, the in-depth CDU tutorial that I want to do. Again, I want to say that I am not an expert in this. I am uh, learning stuff new every day. Uh, so I may say something that's incorrect or wrong. Um, I'm not trying to be the expert on this material, but I wanted to go through all of this stuff so that uh, people could have a better understanding of it. Um, with that said, if you have anything that you think is uh, incorrect or you disagree with, please post it in the comments section. Uh, so I can get it corrected or uh, we can discuss it and share it with other viewers. All right, uh, let's take a break. This is Recon Stewart. We will see you next time when we continue my in-depth CDU tutorial. Thanks for watching. Take care.